Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this data analytics with career guidance uh, course. So in this course, we're actually starting Power BI from today. So today is day one, and we'll be discussing about why this Power BI is actually used in the industry. Okay. So before learning any technology, first of all, we should understand the requirement of this technology tool or software in the industry. So what we'll do is today, we'll try to understand about what is business analytics and data analytics. And then we'll understand how this Power BI fits in this business analytics and data analytics. So first of all, let's understand what this business analytics and data analytics actually mean. So business analytics, so here we have a lot of points. I'll just make it uh, in a very brief and uh, simple to understand uh, English. All right. So I want all of you to switch off your cameras, please. Anybody is sitting on your cameras, so please switch off your cameras. Right. So what is business analytics? See, there are various different uh, definitions, various different points, but I'll just make it very simple for you people. Business analytics is nothing but it's a combination of skills. Skills in the sense what actually we work on the softwares or the tools, the skills, the technologies and practices used to examine an organization's data and perform a way to gain insights and make data-driven decisions in which the future, uh, you know, using data, this statistical analysis. The goal of business analytics is to narrow down which data sets are useful and which can increase revenue, productivity, and efficiency. So in a simple words, if you want to say, business analytics is nothing but we have some technologies and we have some understanding of uh, the industry, how to make your business improve with revenue wise product wise and how efficiently we can run the business so how can we actually do this this can be done only by understanding your data so when i say data it is the information what we actually collect and keep from over the period of time now what happens will tell you whenever you are running a business it is all about you have to make some profit okay so just i'm giving an example so if you want to make some profit you should know that how the business is running how your production is actually going on. Suppose if your business is actually not going according to your plans, if you are going into loss, then we should actually check that why it is happening. So you collect a lot of information and now you have to analyze that and check where are we going wrong. To do that, the companies want to do is they'll approach the people, they're called as business analysts. So what this business analyst actually will do, I'll tell you. They understand the historical data and see where there is a problem. When they found there is a problem, then they'll take some decisions. Let me show you one process actually, so that you'll understand it more better. So let me just tell about the business analytics process. Now let's say, I want to improve my business. I want to make sure that I'm not in loss. But there is some problem. I don't know what it is. So I'll approach a person who is called as business analyst. Now, this business analyst, what he will actually do is he'll sit with the client or, uh, you know, within the organization. If it is within the organization, he will sit with that particular concerned person. So we call him as manager. You will understand the problem. He'll sit and he'll understand what is the problem, where you know you are going wrong. So after understanding that, he will ask for the data, the collected data, or say over the period of time, it can be last one year, it can be last two years, five years, ten years. He will ask the data. Now, when you ask the data, the data is stored somewhere. So when I say you are storing it somewhere, see if you want to store water, you actually use some containers. It can be a bucket, bowl drum, whatever you want, you can store. Similarly, if you want to store data, there should be some container. So that is called as the database or say we call it as data source. In general, let's say it is data source. 
Now, when I say data source, the data can be stored in Excel, CSV, text, MySQL, SQL Server, Oracle. You can store the data in various different formats. Now, most of the people actually they ask, why should a business analyst be, you know, to have the technical knowledge? This is the reason why I always tell even the business analyst should have the technical knowledge because he's trying to collect, he's trying to get the data. So you should understand in which technology, in which software, in which database, in which data source actually I'm getting the data. So you need not be master in any of these uh, technologies. At least you should have some knowledge. Now, if you see this in this data collection, so the client will say that we have the data in this format, can be in any different formats, that let's take it as generally data source. You will collect the data and what you will do is the next step, you'll try to analyze the data. Since I told the business analyst actually is not a complete technical person, he will collect the data, come back to his team and he will give the entire data to the team saying that we need to analyze the data. So here, the analyzing of the data is done by a technical person and that person is called as data analyst. So this is where the data analytics will start. So data analytics is from this part where the data collected by business analyst will be given to this person and he will start checking from the scratch, say in which data source we have the data. Depending on the data source, how actually I should start processing the data. So the processing in the sense, it can be like various different analytics techniques, various different uh, you know way of uh, studying the data. So all these things will be done. So here, the next step will be like, uh, you know, predict analysis. So predictive analytics, so you'll start studying the entire thing. You will uh, apply so many different, uh, you know, kind of uh, um, processes. You'll apply some formulas, clean the data. So there are so many different processes. So I'll not go in depth of these process. I'm just telling you in general that the data which is collected will be analyzed and uh, we do some lot of uh, analysis and then we get the solution. So this solution, what you see here, get the right uh, or uh, the best solution. This is where we get the reports. So what you see at this part, this is where we actually get all the cleaned uh, data which will be in the format of reports and some insights okay so now from this part analyzing data to do some analysis and to get the right decision this is the part of the data analyst now after this the decision so here we get all the insights whatever is taken from the data that is the data driven decision what i specified we get the reports here and once Everything is done, all the reports and everything is done. Again, it goes to the business analyst. So this business analyst again will go and sit with the manager or the concerned person or the client. And he will say that, see, this is where you have gone wrong. This is the reports what we have got from the data, what you have given. Now it is your part to take the decision. They'll explain the problem, what happens. They will start taking the decision. So this is how actually the business analytics process will run in general. Again. You know, again, you have some other problem or say anything you need to correct. Again, the cycle repeats. So this is business analytics. So understanding the business need. And once you understand, then collect the data, the historical data. And then once the data is collected, you do a lot of analysis on that. And then get the uh, reports out of the data, what you have collected. And then again, uh, creating some, you know, getting some insights out of it. And then based on this data-driven insights, Taking some decisions is what the business analytics process. So here, the involvement of business analyst is more important because he is involved in entire process. So in that one part will be the data analyst. Now, let's understand what this data analytics is. I just explained in one part of the process, the data analyst will also come into picture. And what is data analytics? I'll tell you. Data analytics means it's a process of exploring and analyzing the data set. That is, I mentioned here. So here, analyzing the data. So what you will do is a data analyst will try to get the data and start processing and exploring and analyzing a large data sets. It can be large or small. So usually from a company, we get a very large data set. The next, focusing on 
extracting insights from raw data using specialized tools or softwares. I mentioned for storing the data also, we need some uh, uh, applications and for uh, working on any of the reports, getting insights also, we require uh, you know some softwares as well. So this is what we actually you know do that is focusing on extracting insights. Then helps in improving the speed and efficiency of the business. So after studying that, so all the reports have been taken and then again it has been given to the business analyst where the further actions will be taken. All right. So in simple, this is what uh, the business analytics and data analytics means. So the definition, uh, things are very you know broad actually. If you think you want to explore, you can even explore more. You know, go to Google. There are a lot of articles available or you go to our uh, YouTube channel. There are so many videos on these uh, business analytics and data analytics as well. You can study or refer there as well. All right. The next process is business intelligence. Now, what is business intelligence? Okay. I just mentioned that data analyst will actually study the data and then it is converted into a report. So this a person is actually doing that person who actually do this is called as data analyst. And the process what we're actually doing is called as data analytics. In that the process what we actually convert the raw data into a meaningful presentable reports is called as business intelligence. See, business intelligence is a set of process, architecture and technology or tools okay, that convert raw data into meaningful presentable reports or information. So I told you in a simple way that it is nothing but it's a process actually where we have the data which gets converted into presentable reports. Business intelligence combines business analytics, data mining, data visualization, data tools and infrastructure and best practices to help organization to make more data-driven decision. So the intention is I have the raw data, convert that into meaningful reports because not everyone can understand this raw data. And you know that raw data is like uncleaned, unstructured, uh, it is something very difficult for uh, a normal person to understand. So that will be processed and finally it will be converted into uh, some of the reports which uh, even a simple uh, person can also, you know, the, the normal person can also understand. Okay. All right. The next, it's a process of transform data into actionable intelligence and knowledge. BI supports fact-based decision making using historical data rather than assumption. So when you say historical data, that means which has already happened. That means we can take the decision based on uh, the fact-based. When I say fact, see we have this fact tables where fact tables or say fact-based uh, data is nothing but which is already, uh, you know, done or which is already available. Um, so this data, which is there, it is accurate or say we can say it is uh, um, used for taking decision. It is not assumptions. Now, the next process is forecasting. When I say forecasting, that means we are assuming, say, from last five years data, we are just trying to get the report for next one year, two year, or say five years, uh, you know, the production or how the profit will be and how actually we can gain more profits. So that is assumption. So forecasting is not 100% uh, accurate. It can be perfect or it can also be something which might not be able to achieve. So forecasting is nothing but the future. Fact is nothing but the, um, you know, the, the previous data, whatever uh, we have the past, we can say. Okay. All right. The business intelligence process. So here we have various different process. So in that we have this data mining. Then again, we can create reports performing the metrics and benchmarking, descriptive analytics, querying, statistical analytics. Then we have this data visualization, visual analysis, and data preparation. So again, like what we have this uh, business analytics process, we have BI process as well. So most of the people actually will think that the, these terminologies, whatever we use is very difficult to understand. So data mining, let's say, one example I think data mining is the mining is nothing but digging something. Okay, we dig something and then we get some, uh, um, say, ores, say, iron ore, or you know, whatever we actually dig from the earth. Similarly, we are trying to dig data, whichever is required. So the data is actually stored somewhere in technologies 
or we call it as the database or the data source where we are trying to extract only those data which is actually required to do that what we actually do we write some queries we apply some filters and all these things are there so it's very simple you know in a simple english to say data mining is nothing but i have the data dumped somewhere and i'm just trying to extract that for that there are various different process that we'll have to study in depth okay right why should we use business intelligence previously what was happening we had the data so the data collection is there from you know very long time let's take an example when i started my career say 15 16 years back uh, we used to collect you know we used to get the data and we used to create some reports how we used to create some dashboards in excel that too we used to write some formulas we used to um, you know manually arrange all the data set and then create some reports then after that, that reports will be taken and put that into PPT and then we used to present it. Imagine all these process was actually taking time. Then later on, you know, slowly the technologies got improved and uh, the requirement of the reports become more and more. And then slowly they shift to various different softwares, which helps people to create the reports very easily and also understand the raw data convert that into presentable um, say reports okay so that is where this business intelligence started you know emerging business intelligence can help companies make better decisions by showing present and historical data within their business context so i was talking about the historical data is nothing but the past the present data is something which is happening now the current and it can also you know give the reports for uh, the next um say future data so for, not future data the future reports i can say that i told you about the forecasting right say identify ways to increase the profit analyze the customer behavior compare data with competitors track performance optimize operations predict success spot market trends and discover issues or problems so this is the main thing actually the, the last point what i mentioned discover issues and problems if you understand what are the issues what are the problems then we can identify how to make you know the profits and we can understand so many other things as well so main thing in any of the businesses to find the issues and the problems if you find that then there are so many solutions that business intelligence can easily do how because it can understand your data very easily okay All right business intelligence tools whatever we studied till now the bi this is actually the process when i say the process is nothing but uh, uh, you know how actually we can study the data and convert that into reports but for that we need some softwares so we call it as software, tools, applications, whatever you call. Okay. The BI tools are type of software, or we can call it as tools used to gather, process, analyze, and visually get large volumes of past, current, and future data in order to generate actionable business insights, create interactive reports, and simply take, you know, make the decision that is data-driven decisions. They include key features such as data visualization. This is the main thing what we are actually studying now. Visual analytics, interactive dashboards and KPI scorecards. They enable users to utilize automated reporting and predictive analytics features based on self-service. There are inbuilt options. So in Excel, if you take everything we have to do manually. Okay, when you say manually, that means we have to arrange the data you have to make the placeholders for the reports and then create the reports but here in these tools it's not like that everything is drag and drop okay so it'll be very simple and very easy to use it right so in the market there are so many bi tools there are hundreds of bi tools in that most of the commonly used bi tools i've just taken that i've not worked on all of them only few of them i have worked power bi Tableau, ClickView, DataPine, Clear Analytics, Domo, Metric Insights, Zoho, MicroStrategy, Cognos, Elofin, SAP BI, Pentaho, Tipco. So all these are some 
you know, various different BI tools. So in this, Power BI plays a very important role and most demandable BI tools in the market right now. Okay, I'm not telling other BI tools are not used in the industry, but generally Power BI and Tableau are in more demand. But in that, if you compare Power BI and Tableau, I prefer Power BI because people who work on Microsoft products, people who are actually working in the Windows platform, Power BI is easily available. It is freely available. And people who know Excel, they can easily understand Power BI because it is little, you know, advanced version of Power BI. All right. So now let's understand about the Power BI. So this is the BI tool what we actually we use uh, in, uh, you know, uh, in the industry for uh, processing our data, raw data into presentable reports. All right. So Power BI, it is actually a BI tool, which is used for business analytics, which is from the Microsoft. Okay. It is actually a tool which is from Microsoft. It aims to provide interactive visualizations, BI capabilities with an interface simple enough for end users to create their own reports and dashboard. People, I'll tell you, Power BI is so very simple that anyone can easily learn this. Okay. If at all, if someone says that Power BI is very difficult and you know, a lot of processes are there, I will tell you how easy and simple it is. You know, the next few classes, whatever you are attending, I'll tell you how easily you can create wonderful dashboards. And also, we'll be working on some projects as well. I'll work on some project so that you guys can understand how easily you can create the reports in Power BI. And also, I have one of the sessions where I'll be telling you about the designing part as well for the dashboard. So don't miss any of the sessions because this designing part, most of the people won't actually tell you. They'll just tell you how to create the reports. But I have included one session on how actually you should, and because I have worked in the dashboarding industry, I have more experience on this dashboard creations because I'm actually a dashboard specialist, okay? So I'll be telling you about the designing part as well, apart from the technical part of this Power BI. So this designing part will be learning in PowerPoint and also we'll be using the new concepts which are available now in Power BI because Power BI has got a lot of other designing uh, options as well now with a new version. So I want all of you to install the new versions, even though you have already installed the older version. So I'll tell you how to install it. So it's a part of Microsoft Power Platform. You all know that now you have a lot of uh, things, say, um, you know, the Power Platform, say, we have this Power Apps, Power Automates. You know, there are so many Power uh, Platform in uh, Power BI. So this Power BI is also, an, you know, one of the um, tools which comes under Microsoft Power Platform. Next, Power BI provides cloud-based BI. That is, we have something called as Power BI services, where the reports what we create is available in cloud. Now, again, if people who are there here who doesn't know what is cloud, cloud is nothing but it is a server which can be accessed from anywhere, like what we access this web page. Likewise, we have some place where uh, the Microsoft will have that server and we can store that directly in that particular um, no storage uh, location. So that is a server which is not available in our premises. So previously what was happening is we used to have the server in our companies or in our premises, but now it is not required. There is a server somewhere in the remote place where we don't know where it is, but still we have the uh, option of storing the data in the server. Now, if you see this Google Drive and things like that, okay, so OneDrive, Google Drive, all these are actually, you know, something similar to this concept where we can store the data somewhere in the cloud. Okay, all right. Now, it offers data warehouse capabilities, including data preparation, data discovery, and interactive dashboards. Power BI is a tool where we also have the, um, you know, capability or say functionality of editing the data as well, modifying the data as well. But in Tableau, we don't have that, uh, you know, the process, let's say the, 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 the facility or functionality. For that, we need to have one more uh, application that is data prep. Okay, Power, say Tableau data prep. But in Power BI, it's not like that. We have a concept, we have a functionality, we have one feature called as Power Query Editor, 
which will help us in modifying the data, which I'll be explaining in detail in the coming sessions. All right. In Power BI, there are various different components. So let's see various different Power BI components. What are those? So Power BI components. First is the desktop, which I'll be teaching you, and Power BI service, which we'll be learning in the end. What is desktop? The Power BI desktop is nothing but the Windows based, you know, the desktop application for PCs and desktops, primarily for designing and publishing reports to the service. That is, we are using this uh, Power BI desktop for creating the reports and publishing. Now, what is publishing? Publishing is nothing but whatever reports we are creating in dashboards, so this desktop that will be stored in a place called as Power BI service that is cloud-based service. So this one can be accessed by various other people as well, depending on the permissions what we actually give. So Power BI service, it is nothing but it is the online version of this desktop. So we call it as SaaS based, that is software as a service based, the online service. This previously it was called as Power BI for Office 365. Now we refer as simply, you know, the Power BI or Power BI .com. This is online version actually. Then we have this Power BI mobile apps where we can have the apps in Android or iOS devices for, uh, you know, checking the reports. Power BI gateway. This is one of the components which helps the end user to get the latest report. When I say latest report, there is a data which we connect to the reports or the dashboard what we create. Now, the data will be keep getting updated in the backend. Now, every time I cannot tell my client to keep refreshing the data in the report. To automatically refresh the data, in the data source, we use this gateway. So again, don't worry. This will be learning it practically in the you know, coming sessions. Okay, Gateways used to sync external data. I told you it is used for refreshing the data. Required for automated refresh. In enterprise mode can also be used by flows and power apps in Office 365. That is in simple, gateway is actually used for refreshing your data with the scheduled you know, period. Power BI embedded. So Power BI embedded means we can also take the Power BI reports and embed in various different applications. And we have this Power BI report server. Apart from this Power BI, whatever I told you about the online service, that cloud, we can also have on-premises Power BI uh, where we can store all our reports. But uh, um, the on-premises Power BI reporting solution for companies that won't or can't store data in the cloud-based Power BI service. So the Power BI server will be within the organization. So that will actually help uh, you know people to have more secured reports. Even the cloud base is also secured, but uh, you'll have all the reports in your server itself. That also you can do for that. We need to have this Power BI report server, but we don't have to bother about these things because for us, we have to concentrate on the desktop main thing and then we have this service so if you concentrate on only these two things that's more than enough for us i'm just telling you about various different components available in power bi power bi premium this is actually for the corporates where we have you no know, many license which will help uh, people to have the license version of the power bi then power bi visual marketplace Marketplace is something very similar to the Play Store, what we have in our Android phones, uh, App Store, what we have in iOS. So likewise, we have this Power BI Visual Marketplace where we have a lot of uh, visualizations available which we can download and we can work on this. Again, this also we'll see practically a lot of things which uh, we can actually get uh, from this marketplace. There are a lot of uh, uh, new visualizations which we can actually use apart from default visualizations available in Power BI, okay? All right, next is Power BI installation. Uh, people, Power BI installation is very simple. I have given one link here, okay? So you can use this link or what I'll do is I'll just tell you how actually we can uh, get the Power BI downloadable link. Go to the browser and just mention Power BI download for desktop. I'll say Power BI download, whatever. Here, we get this download for Power BI. Just say download for Power BI. Just click on this. 
okay then here i have this download and advanced download options directly go to this advanced download options and then here we get this download click on this download here i'll get two versions now why two versions i'll tell you you can see that there is x64 and there is without anything saying ppi desktop setup now which one to download so people will get confused about which application say which exe file to download so what you have to do is first you should understand my system has got you know uh, whether it's a 64 bit or 32 bit how to study this how to know this whether my system is 64 bit or 32 bit i'll tell you go to windows explorer okay this is windows explorer now in this windows explorer we can see there is something called as this pc here right click on this pc and say properties when i say right click and properties here we have this uh, you know device specification about my system here we have this system type you can see that 64 bit operating system here it says x64 if you think that it's 64 bit go back and select this and then say download that is next and it will get downloaded. Suppose if you think it's 32 bit, select this and then say next and then download. Now you might ask, can I download both? You can download both. You can select this and you can download. But I prefer, you know, it's not required because this is available free every month. Every month, the Power BI will be keep getting updated with new features. And this is freely available. You can keep downloading and then you can reinstall it and, you know, get the latest version so don't have to download both unnecessary will be storing all this you know unnecessary will be downloading all this um, say exe which is not required so go and check whichever is your uh, operating system 64 bit or 32 bit accordingly you just select this and then download after downloading you'll get that exe file then open that exe file and keep clicking on next 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 your application will get installed now i'll go here to the start button just scroll down once installed you'll get this power bi desktop here we'll have this power bi desktop when i click on this the application will get opened so today i'll not explain anything about the power bi application because i want you guys to know why this power bi is actually used in the industry if you know the background of it then i'll tell you understanding the tool is very easy people i'll tell you using of this tool is easy but why should we actually use this tool that you should know before learning any technology okay you can see that see this is power bi it's very simple very uh, you know simple to understand the options are very easy this is the new version so previously i've uh, i just installed this a few days back only um when you open the application okay this power bi application you should get the green color welcome screen i just close that touch screen you should get something like green color what you see here this green color if you get some yellowish uh, application that means it is the older version okay the new version is actually the green color so try to check that you are um, getting the latest uh, version if still you have installed say three months four months or five months before try to download and reinstall it nothing will happen and again don't think that when i install you'll have multiple versions it's not like that once i download and install the current version whatever is there that will get updated okay so don't worry reinstall it again today if you think that you can uh, download it please download and then you can reinstall it please do that so that you'll get all the uh, latest information though you know if you see three or four months before you can see that the visualizations was there in the right hand side here okay but now things have changed the tabs the ribbon has been optimized very simple uh, ribbons are available and uh, even uh, uh, the visualization okay the older version was little uh, complex where we had to go to the right hand side and then uh, format so many things but now you don't have to do that everything is available here only so that uh, uh, you know even the visualization when i actually take everything is like excel now in excel what we have just click on uh, uh, the helper icons you'll get all the options similar to that okay so tomorrow i'll explain about all these things in detail from tomorrow slowly we'll get into this application but today understand about the background of why we are actually learning 
and why we are actually using this Power BI. Okay, so this is about the installation. Next is about the architecture. I want all of you to understand this architecture. What is architecture? Architecture is nothing but the blueprint or say, you know, how this BI, the Power BI is actually used right from scratch till end. Let me tell you about the Power BI architecture. See, first thing is we have the data source. When I say data source, it can be of various different types. It can be in Excel, CSV, text, server. Then we have this uh, uh, web, SAP, Oracle, PDFs. Okay. So these are some of the commonly used data source. These data will be, you know, taken or say imported to Power BI desktop. You can see that the orange color here. So this PPT when I prepared, I had used the older version. So if you have this yellowish Power BI, this is the older version. Okay. So I want you people to reinstall the new version. Okay. But since it's just a PPT, I just kept this as is. But you'll get a green color here. Now the latest version. So keep that the latest version. Okay. So the data source actually taken imported into Power BI desktop and then after all the reports are generated then it is actually published to Power BI service where we have the online service after that it is going to the client the end user now we actually we're talking about the gateway you can see there is one arrow mark here so here we'll have the gateway where the reports are available and the data is available so to refresh and uh, you know give to the client the latest reports then we'll have that gateway in middle here okay in the middle will have the gateway right so this is a very simple architecture there are so many complex architectures uh, if you go to the uh, you know if you go and google it there are so many other different architectures but i just try to optimize the architecture so it will be very easy for anyone to understand because if you go in depth with more technical things people will not understand and i'll tell you people it's not so much required for uh, people who create these reports because we are not developing any Power BI application. We are actually using application to create some reports. That's all. So let's concentrate only on that instead of going in depth. You know, some people actually ask me questions that uh, there are so many other things also sir in uh, Power BI uh, architecture. Can you explain? If it is required for you, if you are going in depth, then go and Google it. You'll get a lot of things. But uh, as a normal people who actually work on Power BI. This architecture is very simple, very easy to understand. I've just optimized so that you people can understand how the entire Power BI actually works. The first thing is data source. There are so many different data source that is taken into this Power BI desktop. Then desktop, we create the reports and that has been sent to service. From the service, we actually try to check and give the permissions for uh, you know various different uh, end users. And based on that, the end user will start using the reports. Okay, so this is the architecture. All right, connecting data source. This will be working in the next session. That is all the data source, whatever we actually spoke about, um, about uh, the Excel, CSV files and various different data source. I'll tell you how actually we can get the data into Power BI. So also I've given the link here. I'll be sharing this uh, entire ppt and people any files the video links is given only in the app okay i cannot share that in uh, whatsapp or something only the links for the zoom and things like that i can actually give in the whatsapp because if i keep sending in whatsapp it is like a historical thing where uh, you know i send one uh, ppt in uh, whatsapp what happens is again some people who join they'll not get the historical data but in Telegram, you can get the historical data in WhatsApp, you cannot get. So anybody wants this PPT, please install the app. I'll show you where you'll be getting all these, uh, you know, um, so, um, um, so what is that? Uh, in the app, every uh, contents will be there, the PPT, the files which actually we work, uh, those things also will be available in the app itself. Okay. All right. So Power Query Editor. This again is a different chapter where we use this for uh, uh, editing uh, the data. So this also I'll be talking about in detail in the coming classes. 
then DAX functions, this is very important. And uh, uh, this is about uh, how to write formulas in uh, Power BI. So this also will be explained in detail. Okay, these are the main things what actually we should work. After that, we have some reports. So that also will be working. Okay, so this is what, uh, you know, we have for today about the details, what you should be prepared for uh, working on Power BI. So from tomorrow, I'll start the practical sessions about how actually we can import the data, how actually we can start editing the data, how actually we can write formulas in Power BI, and then we'll go for a report creations where we can start building the dashboards. Okay, the dynamic dashboards. In that, I'll be teaching you about the designing part as well and also about the publishing. And then we'll work on a project as well. I'll tell you from scratch how we should understand the raw data right from how the client actually uh, expects to understand the data and how actually client expects the reports and how actually the business analyst the data analyst is involved in this project and how finally the reports are generated and given to the client so everything will be there in that project so please attend all the sessions because if you miss any of the sessions you might not be able to catch while working on the projects okay so this is what i have for today now i just take the questions i think already there are so many questions i'll answer all the questions i want all of you to uh, you know ask the questions one by one okay let me just answer some of the questions which is already there um so one question from kavya saying that sir can you please share the ppt in this whatsapp group so kavya as mentioned uh let's not uh, you know um share anything in the whatsapp so let me just tell you so there is this what to say the app okay so all your contents i know that some of you are already there in excel i don't know how many of you newly joined if you see here see i have also given the zoom link here only okay in spite of telling so many times people will be keep asking but still i'll tell you see the zoom link is available here only you can that's why please install the um app so that uh, you can get registered here i will uh, send you the link as well in the whatsapp group about uh, how to actually join this uh, you know course it's completely free and here i have the whatsapp group as well just click on this you'll get added in the whatsapp group as well so i made it very simple for you people so that you can easily join next all the contents okay right from day one whatever we have started everything i've mentioned here see day one day two day three see everything is available here this is for the excel part okay so here the older date actually now i'll be adding this for power bi as well so i want all of you to install so all the data i can see that everything is available here every single day whatever i've done all the videos are available and the data used for that particular uh, the materials everything is available here okay so please install this app so that you'll get all the details here so kamya i think uh, you understood you know you can go and download here if i put that in uh, whatsapp people who are newly joining they'll not get the historical information what we have sent okay right nanda kumar you will cover only power bi uh, nanda kumar see this entire course what we have mentioned data analytics with the placement guidance uh, we actually have started this with uh, excel wherein uh, we had uh, you know some of the sessions previously i'm not sure whether you have joined newly if you join newly then please uh, install this app and uh, register for this course so that you'll get all the previous uh, sessions and apart from this power bi next we'll also have the sql server as well where i'll be teaching you about how we can handle the data okay now after that we'll be having uh, about the placement guidance as well so this is what we have in this entire course i think uh, i have answered you nandan then uh, Kirti is asking which app we can install. So it is ITAS learning app. So Kavya, yes, you're right. It is ITAS learning app. There are two apps. One is ITAS analytics and reporting. Don't install that. That's our uh, old app where uh, we don't have all the contents there. Please do not install that. Install this ITAS learning app. Okay, go to uh, say Android. You can get the application. Right. Ishika 
sir when we click on the whatsapp it doesn't show us the link how come i don't know because here uh, i have kept the link here if i just click on this see if i click on this automatically it will take me let me just give you this link okay whatsapp link take this link okay ishika see i have given this link here you have this link so you can click on this okay all right uh priya kulkarni sir uh, i am newly joined i am attending power base is starting today am i going to get the certificate because excel only few classes i joined and missed the certificate uh priya kulkarni and others who are there don't worry people i'll tell you one thing certificates i don't know why people are so very uh, worried about the certificate you will get the certificates but uh, the reason why we actually tell people to attend all the sessions is you should have the knowledge okay the knowledge should be in your brains rather than on your papers i can give you the certificate but if you don't have the knowledge there is no use in having the certificate so collecting all the certificates putting that in your file okay that will so that will help you in uh, getting the interviews or something um but my preference is try to attend all the sessions certificate yes we'll give we'll also check the attendance but if you have any valid reason please message us uh, so that we can uh, check that reason and then we can validate that and then we can give you the certificate not telling certificate is not important but to give preference for uh, attending the session so that you can have the knowledge okay knowledge is important uh, provided we'll also give you the certificate don't worry for every course whatever you are attending that is individual certificate what we are giving that is uh, advanced excel and then power bi and sql server so this will be individual certificates what will be getting as and when you complete the course finally there will be one certificate that will give it with data analytics okay and so we will give uh, the certificate uh, as data analytics and reporting that will be in the end after completion of the course for that we'll have one uh, uh, test as well so we'll have some uh, you know test i actually plan for some quiz or something because of some various different uh, you know emergencies i am not able to actually concentrate much on uh, the question uh, part for you people i'm very sorry about it uh, but still i am actually trying a lot of uh, you know ways to uh, give you some assignments or something let me check i'll try to give you some assignments as well for uh, excel i have prepared some uh, five to six assignments i'll try and see how i can actually put that into this course uh, but otherwise please attend the sessions okay certificate yes we'll surely give you priya send the valid reason why you could not attend uh, on the sessions so we'll check that and we'll try to give you the certificate okay so i think uh, priya answered your question next uh, is it a two months course tarasish uh, batracharya it's already started okay uh, it's already started i think it's almost one month before only we started there are a few more days it might actually extend so two months is what we planned i'm not sure it might extend or it might get finished soon i cannot actually guarantee you that it's a fixed number of days course because itas actually works based on the topics rather than you know just having some fixed schedules because we actually concentrate on the topics rather than telling you that we'll finish that in two months or three months or something it might extend or it might get over soon but i don't think it will get over soon because already one month is over and still we are in power bi let's see i don't know but it's a two months course actually what we have planned um already there's one month which got over okay sir i want to have excel course again how to access it uh fatima i mentioned here go and install the app for sure uh, uh, you know you will get all the materials all the videos and everything okay gopi is asking a question this is a very interesting question people uh, let me answer gopi so all of you please uh, listen to this question what gopi is asking power bi tool alone gives 17 lakhs per annum six digit salary was that true people i'll tell you one thing nowadays there are so many trainers so many online coaches they actually tell you that if you take power bi 
if you take you know different courses you will get a big package or they say that you will get a lot of package or something people will tell you package salary it all depends on the companies depends on your skills and how actually you attend the interview main thing is about the company and the project the budget what they have okay please don't think that everyone will get 17 lakhs package 20 lakhs see i have student who have got 6 lakhs package as well 12 lakhs package as well there are some students who have got 30 lakhs package as well but that doesn't mean that only because of power bi they've got let me be very frank power bi is one part of the process okay it's a tool if you know you get into these kind of things i've seen many people many uh, people have become trainers so i am a trainer by passion okay let me be very much clear very much transparent about all these placements okay job is given only there is an opening and the openings depends on what projects they are working and the salary is fixed based on the budget of that particular projects okay don't think that just because you have done your power bi you will get 17 lakhs package 20 lakhs package i've seen many uh, webinars they conduct and they'll be keep telling you that uh, you will get big salary so nowhere you see any of our webinars any of our ads we never tell that you will get a big salary for that you just do the course people we are doing this free course thinking in mind that everyone should get the knowledge okay so what i'm actually warning all of you is have the knowledge get the knowledge salary i don't know very frankly i'll tell you I don't know what kind of salary the companies will actually give you. It depends on you and the company. It depends on the project and what budget they actually have fixed. Don't think that just because I do this power BI, I'll get 17 lakhs, 20 lakhs, 25 lakhs. Don't fall into these kind of uh, you know false statements given by all these people. Okay, it is their business they are doing. I'm not telling they are wrong or right. I, that is left to them. But you people be aware of this. Salary is fixed by the company depending on the budget what they have okay and again i'm not telling that uh, you know you won't get the job at all i'm telling you you should have the skill sets if you don't have the skill sets no one will give you a job so for that i'm telling you have the skills how much ever is possible whatever you you know get the knowledge um, good knowledge i'm telling the right knowledge i'm telling get that and keep it with you try and try okay so if you are getting big package yes very frankly, all my students who are getting job, even if they are getting 2 lakhs package also, I'm very happy because they're getting job. Again, after that, it depends on them how actually they can take the career. Many students of mine were actually getting 3 lakhs package. Now they're earning more than 30 lakhs package as well. But that doesn't mean that I actually got them job. It is their efforts. It is their way what they actually try to, you know, um, improve their skills, improve their career path. Okay, so Gopi. Um, I'm not telling this statement is wrong and also I'm not telling the statement is right. So it depends on each individual, how actually they develop their skill sets, how actually they'll approach the companies. And if at all you are very lucky, if at all you think that there is some urgent requirement and the budget is high, you will get a big package as well. I'm not telling uh, you won't get at all, but just only by Power BI, uh, you know, don't expect so much. Try to understand the data management skills as well because when you're creating the reports you should also know about the um, data how it actually works in the back end that's why my way of teaching power base totally different first i'll make you guys understand about the data okay because i've seen many trainers many uh, institutes what they do is they'll just teach only the reports but to create that reports you should know a lot of things before as well okay so um, for your statement whatever you've given Please try to improve your skill sets and start applying. If you are getting, you know, 17 lakhs package, I wish you get bigger package than this. Okay, I wish you get more than this. That is, I will always pray God that everyone whoever is getting knowledge from me should get, um, you know, more than what they are actually expecting. Okay, that is what I actually always think. Right. So I think uh, Kopi understood. So he's saying that understood. Okay. Right, Tara Sish Bhattacharya, one more question. Will you refer us for the placements? This I can do, okay? So if we get any requirements from the company, for sure we actually keep uh, updating in our uh, placement group. There is a group actually. So Raki Singh is actually handling the complete uh, placements. So 
uh, you can approach and also send, when you come to this placement guidance okay there is a course where we discuss so in that i'll explain about how actually you can uh, you know uh, understand about uh, how actually you can uh, apply for the jobs and also how we can actually refer but people we never promise anyone okay anyone in our institute that we will get a job okay uh, there are some uh, things which people actually get it's a weakness of everyone to get job so we don't want to capture that weakness and make business we actually give the skill sets what people need and we try to refer if we have any reference okay so please don't expect that we will get you a job that is not possible from any of the institute it is very difficult to get job because job is actually by another company not from my institute I can promise you the skill sets. I can promise you some of the references which we are getting, but I'll not promise you that I'll get you a job. Okay. All right. Next, Chetan is company hiring commerce students for data and this role. Chetan, I'll tell you, commerce students are the most hired people in analytics industry because banking industry plays a very big role. So any of the commerce graduates, I request you people you know you go in any whatever field you want say you have the started account and you know there is different field for commerce graduates but my preference please try to learn analytics because commerce graduates are paid very high now okay i don't know the salary i cannot say that they are getting this much of salary but the commerce graduates have got more opportunities in this analytical industry because banking insurance finance is actually require these kind of uh, technologies and since people are already into this domain commerce domain you have a lot of opportunities okay, okay and i don't know whether you read this news this year in bangalore or say in karnataka people are from karnataka i read one of the news okay news article that commerce is the course commerce is the subject what uh, they have more enrollments this year okay um right so commerce graduates it's a very good opportunity for you to go into this analytics and reportings barthi sir i'm using a linux operating system how can i install power bi uh, Marty, see, I'm not so technical uh, about these installation. I know Windows. I know how to install this in Windows. But uh, um, since you have taken this question, let me check this. And I'll, uh, you know, um, consult some of the technical people and then I'll get back to you. I don't want to give you some, uh, um, you know, fake answers or uh, just like that answers. Uh, let me check, Bharti. I'm, I'm surely not aware of this. So I will uh, surely check. And I'll get back to you on this, how to install on this Linux operating system. Okay. Right. Okay. VBA macro, where we use, how is it related with Excel? Do we need that skill? VBA macros are actually required when you actually think that you want to automate some of the process. Okay. Now Power BI as, uh, you know, more, some of the functionalities which uh, can reduce the macro work. So don't worry about the macros now. Worry about the analytics. Okay. So VBA is also required. But what I tell is uh, there are some uh, concepts which have been reduced. Okay. Kavya, this is day two session. No, this is day one session. We already have started. And uh, it is not that from today it is two months. It is the two months course which already started with excel right people so before we leave okay um i'll take you know if you have any more questions please keep it with you i will take the questions now i want all of you okay all of you i've taken so much of time though i was not able to take the sessions i you know came here just because of you people because i don't want to miss these sessions all of you were waiting i made you people wait for two days 
yes, Kavya, you will get the certificate. Don't worry. Okay, you will get the certificate. Right? People, I want all of you, please take one minute and tell how was today's session. Quickly, I, I'm just taking one minute. I'm taking so much of time. I want all of you to tell me how was this session. I want all of you to participate. Okay. Please participate. See, if you are into corporate world, you know, you should participate. You should make sure that you are visible to everyone. Okay. Good. I can see that everyone is saying that it's very helpful. Okay. Good. Don't worry. So today what we did was just the introduction. That's all. Tomorrow onwards, we'll learn about the practicals of all these softwares that is Power BI. Good. Right. Bharat, very informative and useful. Thank you so much, people. And I want all of you to be active. Okay. So I'm asking this question not, you know, to get praised or say not get too admired. I just want to know that how the sessions are going on. The more the encouragement, the more we actually feel that to give the contents. Okay, if people are not interested, you know what happens? You might feel that, okay, so if people are not interested, then what is the use of taking classes? Okay, so this is just to motivate ourselves, to encourage ourselves. So one minute of yours actually will give a lot of energy for us. So that's why I just take one minute from you people about the sessions. All right, people, thank you so much, all of you. I'll meet you people tomorrow with more interesting things, okay? And people who are not there in the app, will not install the app, please install the app and then get all the materials. You'll get all the previous materials as well and the PPT what we have today. So everything you'll get, okay? All right. So thank you all of you. Have a great day. See you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.